one okay. now. Okay, now let's try some green. Nice. Put my pants here. And actually, not yet, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh, it is hot. Okay. Oh, actually, it's Ireland. So <laughs> Hello, my name is Bruce Shane and today I'd like to show you two more examples of uh, demonstrations that I do in our discussion of centripetal and centrifugal forces. This is my spin art project. Let's see what it looks like. It is a block of wood. It's got four small screws coming out the bottom. That's to hold it in place when it's sitting inside the box and to keep it from shifting around. Uh, there's a motor mounted in the center of this on the opposite side and it has a spindle coming up. Here's a view of that motor. I've removed the record for a moment so they get a better view of it. And the record is simply attached to that spindle using a small piece of wood. The wood is held onto that spindle by friction. To use it, we would take a piece of heavy stock paper and tape it down on either end. Uh, to make it spin, it's a six volt motor, so I have a battery holder with four batteries in it and we would connect the wires up, get it spinning, and when it's moving fast enough we would just take different colored paints and pour them on or drop drops of paint on here uh, to give us different patterns. Here we see the box. Notice that the wires are coming outside the uh, corner of it and I attached the batteries out here rather than trying to put it inside which would get very messy. The uh, inside of the box is up high enough to keep any excess paint from splattering out over the sides and there's quite a bit of accumulation here because uh, kids tend to put a little bit more paint on it than of course is needed. So let's see it in action. <laughs> Alright, put some purple in there Let's see what that does. Yay! Okay, we're going to go for the world's ugliest. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, Whoa. did you realize how fast it comes out? No. Okay, yeah. that's that. Thank you. 